out here and today we're going to be looking at how the Lakers match up with the Clippers. The Lakers and Clippers rosters are pretty much set and both teams have been looked at as favorites to win the championship. On paper this matchup is very intriguing because both teams have two superstars and high quality pieces around them. Right now it's not really certain what the starting lineups of these two teams will be but on the Lakers side we have to assume that LeBron, Danny Green, and Davis will start and for the Clippers they'll start Kawhi, George, and Beverly. The rest of their lineups will depend on how they want to defend the opposing team's star players. The Lakers need to be able to contain both Kawhi and George, but also consider the threat that Montrez Harrell and Lou Williams pose off the bench. Danny Green makes the most sense to guard Kawhi because he's played with him for 8 years and would know how to defend him better than anyone. Then for George, it's a bit trickier because he's a 6'9 wing with great speed and athleticism, and with Green already picking up Kawhi, the Lakers will have to start someone with length and mobility. LeBron can't guard him because they'll be handling the ball a lot on offense and will need to save his energy, so the best option would be to insert KCP into the starting five. KCP is only 6'5 and definitely isn't ideal, but they can have someone like AD dropping down to guard him because he's best utilized as a rim protector, and you wouldn't want him chasing around a great shooter like George all game. The other players the Lakers will have to match up with would be Patrick Beverly at the point guard spot, and likely a guy like Jamichael Green at the four with Zubak at the five. Even though Beverly is pretty quick, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have LeBron guard him because Beverly is not really a high usage and ball dominant point guard. If if LeBron were to get beat off the dribble, they'd still have two bigs with both AD and either Cousins or JaVale to protect him. Of course, LeBron could just guard Jamichael Green, but that would force AD to play the five full time, which he said he doesn't like playing. In total, if it's LeBron on Beverly, Green on Kawhi, KCP on George, and AD on Jamichael Green, then the Lakers would probably have to start Cousins to guard Zubak because of the physicality he brings, and being a better offensive fit with AD than JaVale. For the bench and keeping tabs on Lou Williams and Harrell, Avery Brown Bradley is the perfect choice to guard Lou because he's very quick and has a high defensive IQ, so he won't fall for Lou's foul drawing tricks. Then for Harrell, it would likely have to be JaVale on him, just because of the physicality that Harrell poses and him usually playing the 5 for the Clippers. The matchups for the Lakers defending the Clippers are almost just as difficult for the Clippers defending the Lakers, because the Clippers best defenders are all at the guard and wing positions, but not at big. Playing AD at the 4 spot makes perfect sense against the Clippers because they're especially weak at the that position, with only Jamichael Green and Mo Harkless. If the Lakers starting lineup is what we said it was going to be with LeBron, Green, KCP, AD, and Cousins, the Clippers would probably have to put George on LeBron and let Kawhi be the great help defender that he is. George is still one of the best on-ball defenders in the game, so this would be a good move. Beverly would probably have to pick up KCP and then Kawhi would defend Green with the same knowledge of each other's games applying here as well. There's been a case for Kawhi guarding AD, but AD's physicality and size in the post would be too much to put on Kawhi every possession considering his importance to them offensively. It would have to be Jamichael Green on him and then Zubak on Cousins. I also wouldn't take out the possibility of the Clippers moving Montrez Harrell to the starting five in this matchup, except the spacing would be pretty bad offensively but they'd have to live with that if they want to slow down AD. It'll be interesting to see how these factors play into what starting lineups these teams put out and how that will impact their seasons knowing they'll probably have to go through each other to win the title. That's all I have for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed.